and tell you they're taking me out of school. What? For how long? <sighs> Till a year after the baby's born. I'm Andrea. Hi. 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 It's Hi. nice Hi. to meet you. I don't want to play the blame game. But you do realize that this pregnancy is going to be a burden on our family. And Lonnie has the choice to leave whenever he wants. That is not my son. Here, girl. Why do I have to take the heavy one? You don't even know what's in it. Then you carry it. Can we just get the damn food in the house, please? Yeah. Stupid. Shut up, skank. What did you just call her? Nothing. You apologize to your sister right now. <sighs> Mom, it's, it's No, cool. you go in the house. Go in the house. You get up here right now. Don't you ever call her that again. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Her name isn't Tyler. Okay, so you can fill these forms out at home. Don't mail them. Bring them back on when, let's see, your next appointment. Uh, looks like it's the 25th of next month. Right, uh, to the place that was referred to us by um, Planned Parenthood. Yeah, they're good. You're gonna like them. Now, Tyler, who's gonna be your birth coach? For classes? Mm hmm. My baby daddy. Okay, and what's the baby's father's name? Lonnie Dixon. All right, and how old is he? 17. No, uh-uh, honey. <laughs> Your coach can't be another minor. It just, it's against policy. Huh? Now, in cases like yours, your mom or your auntie or maybe an older sibling. Why? Because it just can't be another minor. You understand that, right, Mrs. Goodall? It, it's liability and all. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe you would like to bring your grandchild into the world. Uh. Sure. Would that be okay with you, Tyler? I don't know why you're pouting. You know, you need somebody in your corner that's experienced and mature. Lonnie can be mature. Ty, mature boys don't get girls pregnant. Okay, they wait for sex. They're supposed to wait for love, too? Well, ideally, love comes before sex. <laughs> so that's what you and Dad are doing? Waiting for love? It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's um, cool, Mom. Mm -hmm. cool. Are you lying to me? <laughs> Maybe I'm lying to my face. <laughs> Mm. I've been meaning to tell you, I did some research online about getting you a tutor for school, and it's good. I found this resource locator on thebeehive.org, and there's all this information about local low-cost tutors, and I found one just three streets over. So, what, he gets special treatment for being stupid? Ellie, Why stop right you now. mind your own business? Stop it. Both of you. Just stop. Well, we, stop it. Yeah. We need insurance that Lonnie's going to graduate on time. Well, what are you going to do next, Mom? Are you going to buy him a car, no. too? Yeah, and what if she did, huh? Would you want a bike for letting guys fill you up behind the bleachers? Lonnie! What? Lonnie! What did you just say to your sister? Sit. Stop. Yeah. I swear to God, if you disrespect her one more time... Ma, Ellie's acting like I planned this pregnancy. Well, that's the problem, you idiot. You didn't plan it. Well, you know what? Stop hating, Dracula. Oh, what? So I can wind up pregnant, too? Like, I really stop want that. Stop it! Stop it right now! Both of you! Just shut the hell up! First of all, nobody is getting special treatment. Look at me, right now. Lonnie needs to graduate on time because I can't take care of somebody else's baby here. Especially since you lost the skater endorsement. Do you have any idea what that would have brought in? Yeah. 
So since you are man enough to do what you did, I am gonna treat you like a man from here on out. That means you be responsible about school. Do you hear me? Good. And nobody is getting a damn car. St. Oprah. She's only trying to be there for you, honey. That's so awful. And I think part of her feels responsible. How's she responsible? By not talking to you about, you know, turning into a woman and all. Yeah, well, other than don't be a hoe, what could she possibly tell me? Well, I, I mean, she don't even like kids. Isn't that why I'm an only child? Tyler, don't say that. I mean, it's true, isn't it? She don't want to be tethered to a settled life. So she waited till you stopped asking about wanting more kids. That sounds like a quote. Did she say that to you? I overheard it. You should get some rest now. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Maybe this will change things. No, as he has, sunshine. Good night, Tyler. Good night, Daddy. selling drugs, and I had some money, and I was getting on GA, and I had some money, so I was just so excited. And then when I stopped doing what I was doing, and became responsible, and started looking for a job, and finding out how really hard it is out there to find a job, and, and stuff like that, and living off, of, living off of welfare, GA, only getting 500 a month, got a portion of that, with groceries, food, Three weeks, I'm broke. I you know it's just, it's crazy. I went, I went from having hella money and buying clothes every weekend to broke. <laughs> 